Hey Lab Nuts, it's Janet from Canada. I want to show you my Ranger. This was the bag that I did not want. I saw that Lug came out with it and I honestly thought it was super ugly, but it was the only bag that existed in bouquet black which, yeah, that's probably in my top five. I absolutely adore, pretty much like the whole bokeh line, bokeh blue is in my top as well. I don't have it yet. I'm waiting for like a large purse in that print. But anyway, yes, so I needed something in bokeh black and they weren't releasing anything else, any kind of purses for me. So I gave in and I got the Ranger and I was pleasantly surprised. It not only holds a lot more than it looks like it would hold, but I actually did feel very stylish. I did not think it was nearly as ugly as I thought at first. My mind was changed, I was converted, I am now a Ranger fan. But I do only have the one and unfortunately some of the stitches on the inside came undone. Lug did send me a credit because they didn't have any more bouquet black at the time to give me. But I don't want to order another Ranger because I don't like having more than one of the same item. Typically, but maybe I'll have to break my rule on this one. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, let's look at the bag. So here we have the Ranger in its crossbody state. This is usually my favorite way to wear it. I, I definitely prefer crossbodies, even though I'm not fond of the clangy metal straps. For the Ranger, for some reason, I forgave it. If you want to try it as a shoulder bag, you just shorten this strap, and there we have it. I think this is the perfect like shoulder strap length because your arm, well my arm anyway, maybe other people have longer arms than me, but my arm sits right on top of the bag perfectly. So it's just like a little armrest. I've got this handle here to hold on to. Still really happy with it even when it's not crossbody. If you want to see the fullest length she can possibly be, clearly this would work fine for our taller ladies. All right, let's go inside the bag. Now clearly, it's pretty full right now. I have packed this thing to the brim just to show you how impressive its capacity is. I normally wouldn't carry this much stuff in it. I like it when it's more of like a perfect little box, but I just had to show you the capacity. So in here, I couldn't find any normal size water bottles. So I used this like squirty container, which is about the size of a normal size water bottle, as well as my Lug Turbis cup because I'm a certified love nut. Here's where a lot of the magic happens. We've got two zippers and when you open them, your purse does not spill open. We've got these drawbridge openings here that allows you to open your bag up wide without losing all of its contents. I love that. Inside, of course, we have a mask because it's pandemic. On the back wall, we have got a privacy zip pocket right there. And back here is one large cargo pocket, which I like to keep a eco shopper in. It would fit two eco shoppers, by the way, like one stacked on top of the other if you want. Then we have the main gusset, which is pretty significant. I realize this does not have a water bottle pocket, but it's got enough space in it to hold at least one regular size water bottle if you need to. One gal on Facebook, I saw she put six water bottles in here. I've also got a full size hand lotion. We turn it around to the front, you will see the Clearview pocket. Love Clearview pockets because they show off all my pretty lip stains. And beneath that, we have got two smaller cargo pockets, which I am using for my power bank and my gum. Probably my one and only complaint is that the cell phone pocket is sharing a gusset with the Clearview pocket behind it. Now, my Clearview pockets always hold all of my lip stains. And unfortunately, those things definitely stop my phone from going in and out of here smoothly. But I can forgive it because I am in love with this bag for many other reasons. We have this front pocket here with this beautiful quilting. I think it's called Arrow or is that Chevron? I'm not sure. This pocket here is the perfect size for the kickflip, which I believe is one of the biggest wallets. This is also the RFID pocket, so that works out well. And it also has a little built-in wallet here with one clear card slot as well as one, two, oh, three. It has three more card slots underneath. So that's very handy for things you need to just access quickly. And I love that this pocket just folds right down. On the back, we have got one sexy thistle as well as another zippered pocket with your two pen slots in it. Now, unfortunately, these are those type of pen slots that are just a little bit too close to the zipper. I find that when I put a pen with a lid in here, sometimes the zipper does kind of bump into the pen. You can avoid that by using those clicky pens, but I am always paranoid that the ink is gonna leak out of those. So I prefer pens with lids on it. But um, as you can see, I can zip it just fine. It doesn't always bump into it. And then I also use this back pocket just for like, you know, Kleenex. 
Lip balm, floss, holes. Okay, and then the best part of the Ranger, this little handle. When I get into my car, the purse always goes in the passenger seat. So being able to hold it by the handle just makes it so much easier to maneuver, to throw down and pick back up again. It's actually had me thinking about getting the compass, but I don't think I'm gonna like the compass as much for a couple reasons. One, I much prefer this great big single pocket and the type of quilting on it. Whereas the compass has roundabout pockets, one on top of the other, they look just like that. They even have this exact same triangle quilting. So imagine a ranger with two roundabouts on it stacked one on top of the other. It makes it a very tall bag and because of that, it would fall over really easy. Something I really like about the ranger is that it does not fall over easy, especially if like your wallet is in the main compartment or in this front compartment and you've got other stuff like weighing down the bottom of the bag and it's not that difficult to get at it because it opens up so wide and you've got such a large gusset in here. Okay, let's talk about coordinates. This is Camo Rose. Um, I realize it's two prints, but these are a very similar color family, I guess you would say. There are light pinks in here, so because of that, I feel like these could go together, but obviously shimmer pink is much better at that. It also works with blush pink and powder pink. Personally, I don't think this qualifies as pattern smashing because they are the same pattern, and I suspect bouquet blue would go together just as nicely. This is a combo that I actually use on a regular basis, and I absolutely love it. This is our emerald teal courier, which I use as a briefcase. I've got all my little documents in it, and there's absolutely some dark teals in this bouquet black. The old school ocean is also a very good match. I don't hate it. Olive. Not too bad with Concord. You would think with Ocean and Emerald and Concord matching that Cobalt Blue would match, but personally, not my fave. Don't forget we have this bright pink flower on the back, which I believe is Orchid. I don't have anything Orchid for you, but I'm quite sure this would match. So that wraps up the Ranger in Bokeh Black. Again, other than that cell phone pocket, having to share space with the pocket behind it, this is absolutely one of my top favorite bags from Lug. Okay, bye. So take off, eh? Okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah. Okay, like, let, wow. Okay, let, let's, Jenna. All right, let's go inside the bag.